Pisces, you are up for the July Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. This is the general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just the person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Also, I plan on doing a love reading for July and I plan on doing a money reading for July. If this does not resonate with you, maybe one of those readings will. Also, I do readings for the collective. The full moon and Sagittarius reading is already up. Also, I plan on doing the summer solstice reading for the collective in the next day or so. And I plan on doing the new moon in cancer reading as well. Depending on when you're listening to or watching this, those readings may already be up and there may be something in there that resonates with you. The June readings are already up too if you're watching this during June. So all of the readings are up for all of the signs for general love and money. As well. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into this. I'm using my Cosmic Dancer Oracle deck for you, Pisces. Okay. May I have the energy for Pisces for July? May I have the energy for Pisces for July? May I have the energy for Pisces for July? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? Energy for Pisces for July. What is it that Pisces needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. That came out for, who did that come out for? Um, I want to say Capricorn. Wow. Okay. Interesting. First time that one came out. May I have another card, please? Thank you. May I have another card, please? And bottom of the deck. Huh. This came out for Leo. Slow down. All right. So this is another situation. A lot of people, I feel like it is the summer energy as we're moving into the summer. Like a lot of people are like ready to go and get things done. And there's some stuff that has to happen first. And it's amazing that I said stuff that has to happen first. This is literally number one on here. Can you see the one right there? (laughs) It says clear the vessel. So for some of you, you need to cleanse your energy. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And you think of that as getting grounded. And also something said to me as I was looking at, you see how she's pouring this out? I'm thinking of, you know how if you have a bowl of water and like a big bowl of water, you know how they they used to do in the old days and you use that to wash your face and everything else and then that water gets dirty. You can't leave that same water in there and then the next day take your rag to wash your face. That's not a good look. That's not sanitary. (laughs) I honestly feel for some of you You're holding on to some of this dirt that was in the previous day's water in the bowl and you didn't empty out the bowl and you're still trying to get clean again and make process, but you don't realize this is dirty water in the bowl. You need to throw the water out and fill up the water, fill up the bowl with fresh water, with clean water. You need to clear your vessel. (laughs) That's what that's what's going on with that. You need to get balanced. Now, 
The second card that came out is give and receive. Some of you, and I can be guilty of this sometimes as well. I am good at giving, but receiving, it, I always start to feel awkward when people give me things <laughs> or when they offer to give me things. I always feel awkward. And, and it's something that is, we're all works in progress. For some of you, you need to figure out how to balance this out. Some of you may be giving too much and receiving too little. Or some of you may be receiving too much and giving too little. You need to find that balance where you're giving as much as you're receiving and where you're receiving as much as you are giving. Also, something um, said to me, I got to say it because it, it came to me. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Something said to me, relationships are give and take. So some of you might be in a relationship and there it is an equal where one person is doing, you know, 40 percent and then you're doing 60 percent or they're doing 30 and you're doing 70. Relationships are about give and take. It's about giving and receiving. You can't keep giving to the relationship and all they're doing is receiving. They need to give to you too so you can receive. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The other card that came out is fine tune. This is why you need to slow down. There is something that you need to fine tune. You ever think about a, a piano where after a while, once it's been played so much, you have to bring in the person to come in and tune the piano because if they don't, it's going to be out. It's going to be out of tune. It'll be off key. You want to make sure that you're taking time for you clearing the vessel, get rid of the dirty water and fine tuning you. But in order to do that, you need to slow down. Is what needs to happen. Now, the other card that came out is stretch and expand. The energy that I'm picking up from this is consciousness. You need to, I was about to say believe in the impossible, but that is too cliche. I say that a lot. I, I want another way to deliver this message. May I have the words, please? Okay, we can go with that. Thank you. Open to opportunity. Open to opportunity. For some of you, because th this is what I'm getting. For some of you, you feel like once a door closes, that is it. You need to stretch and expand on what is possible. You need to remain open to opportunity. Some of you are closed where once something happens, it's like you feel as if, okay, it's in a box. There, there's no way to get out of it or, or anything like that. But what I'm telling you is there's always an opportunity. Remain open to opportunity. I might title this that. Remain open to opportunity. Because the opportunity is there. And also... There's another, it's just about a way of seeing things. I'm not saying see things with rose colored glasses. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, I'm trying to think, what is, is an example? What's a good movie that everyone has seen? And um, where someone's mind was just blown by a situation. I'm trying to think, I've seen so many movies. <laughs> Like where their mind was blown by a situation and they're just like, oh, wow, this is totally different. You know, OK, have you seen the movie? I'm asking you like somebody. Well, somebody tell me in the comments. There is a movie called Narnia. 
So with Narnia, where the kids go into the the cupboard, and then they go into this whole new world, and it's like, wow, I didn't even know all of this is. Or better yet, let me use something else that everyone knows: Harry Potter. You know, with Harry Potter, when they are introduced to Hogwarts and all of this other stuff. Beforehand, they didn't really know about that, especially those in the human world. They didn't know about Hogwarts. They, they knew about certain things. But as time went on and as they were at Hogwarts, they would learn more and more stuff, even though, I mean, I'm probably going to get tomatoes thrown at me. But I still feel Harry Potter is overrated for, as, a, as a magician. He was at Hogwarts all that time and all he can still do is a few things with the wand and that's it. I, I've seen better magicians. Just saying. But I digress. The point is, is that as they were at Hogwarts, they learned about new types of creatures that existed. They learned about new um, societies that existed. They learned about the background of this or the background of that. Stuff that they didn't know before. I feel that for some of you, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You haven't been open to the opportunity to be introduced to those things. That type of information, that type of knowledge, that type of, I guess you could say, culture in a way. And it's there. I feel clearing your vessel is going to play a big role. Giving and receiving is going to play a huge role. Fine tuning things is going to play a huge role. And then um, slowing down and under slowing down is make mistakes. Some, some of you might be afraid to make mistakes, which is why you don't want to stretch too far because you're afraid that you'll make a mistake. But I'm telling you, it's okay. Be open to opportunities. And this one's saying practice daily under that one. So, yeah, I'll take a few tarot cards. I mean, we kind of already know the message. May I have the energy for Pisces for July? Energy for Pisces for July. Energy for Pisces for July. What's the closing message? For Pisces, for the energy for July. What is that? Yeah, this is about opening up. Because two of swords. That's what this is it. That, that's what this is. Being open to opportunities. What else? May I have some cards, please? Closing message for Pisces. Thank you. Okay, these are just going all over the place. King of Cups, which it says control. Something's telling me to tell you, you can't control everything. A card dropped. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. That's nice. There's some type of stability coming in for you. Seven of Cups. Some of you maybe have a lot of options or you may be overwhelmed. That might be another reason that you need to clear your vessel so you can make the right choice. But in one of those cups with the seven of cups of options is the ace of pentacles. There is an opportunity. This ace of pentacles confirms it. This king of cups, which is saying control, which is being it can be being in control of your emotions. But also knowing that you can't control everything. You can't control everything. You can't. At the bottom of the deck, Princess of Wands, which is Page of Wands energy. Exploration. So, yeah, and exploration is a good thing. But again, be open to opportunities. That's all I have for you, Pisces. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Pisces, be blessed.